Hi Cosmic, today we're going to be carrying on our Dreamer series by looking at Daniel. Now Daniel was a good man, he was a follower of God, and his name even meant God is my judge. Like you and me though, Daniel was faced with some difficult decisions along the way and asked to do things that weren't honouring to God or part of God's plan for him. While he was young, Daniel and his friends were captured by King Nebuchadnezzar during a raid and they were selected as the strongest, healthiest and most good looking men. Sounds a bit like me, actually. They were taken to King Nebuchadnezzar and trained up to enter his royal service and serve him. The Babylonians were trying to change the way Daniel and his friends lived, and they did this by trying to change their names, the food they ate, and forcing them through a Babylonian education. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar was doing this to try and make them Babylonian and change their loyalties to different gods. However, Daniel and his friends refused. Daniel and his friends were determined not to follow the crowd just because it was the easy option. And if they didn't, they would have been killed. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, being killed isn't a fantastic idea. And luckily, we don't have to worry about that today. But this was the reason that many of the others went along with King Nebuchadnezzar. Not for Daniel and his friends though, they had already decided a long time ago that they would live their life in a way which honoured God. When Daniel refused to eat the food and follow the crowd, he was staying true to his lifelong decision to live in a way which honoured God. Even today this still exists. Ask anyone in church, like your mum and dad or your brothers and sisters, we have all faced times where we've been asked to follow the crowd in a way which does not honour God, just because it was an easier option. Now just because we get faced with these decisions doesn't make it a bad thing, it's the way that we react to them which is what honours God. Now Daniel and his friends asked the guards to be put on a vegetable put on a vegetable, ask the guards to be put on a diet of vegetables and water, instead of the king's food and wine. They did this for 10 days to show the king how much better they would be compared to everyone else who was eating the king's food, and to the guards' surprise, they were fitter and healthier than the others. Through this lifestyle and diet change, the Babylonians were trying to change Daniel and his friends' lifestyle. However, in a culture that didn't honour God, Daniel found a way to live by God's laws. This shows us that we can live our lives where we are not at church and where we may not always be around our friends and family from church. But this also goes to show that we are never alone. By praying to God and asking him for help in these difficult times, we are able to live our lives in a God-honoring way. So guys, this week, instead of following the crowd and doing what they're doing, just because it's easier, try and take some time to spend some time talking to God and reading your Bible, and figure out for yourselves if what you're doing is honouring to God or not. As always guys, don't forget to send in your photos to Simon from this week's activity so we can show them in the other videos. And I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you again soon.